You want to create your own Google Slides templates and make them available for your team or your organization? I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how you can create Google Slides templates. Google offers free slides templates for consumer accounts and Google Workspace accounts. But if you're a Google Workspace user, you can create your own Google Slides templates that are available for anyone at your organization. Please note, what I'm going to show you now is only possible if you have a paid Google Workspace account. This will not work if you have a free of charge consumer version of Google Slides or a Google One account. I've created this template document. I gave it the name of the Paris Demo Template, and now I want to actually make it into a template that anyone at our Saperis organization can use as a template. So I'm going to head over, create a new tab, and then I'm going to launch slides because I want to get to the template gallery, like so. Here, a button appears, Submit Template. So you see we already have a couple of templates in our organization. I'm going to submit a new one. I select the presentation. Let me just check for my recent ones. There you go, there it is. You can navigate through your My Drive or your Share Drive, wherever this may be. I'm gonna click on Open. And I have the option of saying I want to submit a copy of this file instead of the original. This might be what you're looking for. I personally like to not submit a copy, but the original. That is because if I want to update, let's say, the design of all my templates or of my specific template, I want this to reflect in all the copies of the new template. So let's say tomorrow, no, let's say in a, in a year's time, we have a, a rebranding and I don't want to have to resubmit a new template. Instead, I want to just uh, update this template and every new Google slide presentation that is based on this template will automatically reflect those updates. But if you do not want that, then go ahead and just submit a copy of it. Choose a category. I'm going to say this is just something basics and then I hit submit. And now it's loading it up to the template gallery. There you go. This is now my template. Now the question remains, okay, great. We have a template. How do we use this template? I'm going to show you two different ways how you can create a new slide deck based on a slide template. So the first is going to be just hit up uh, or create a new tab, then click on the Google Apps icon, the Waffle icon, then on Slides, and then head over to the Template Gallery. And then simply click on your template. You see this uh, circle, this animated circle. So it's now creating a copy of this document. And where is it safe to? Well, whenever you create a new document like I just did, have a look at the top level or the top folder of your drive. So I'm heading over to my drive. Uh, there you go. Uh, today I just created one. So that's my actual template and that is the copy that I just created. Now to prove the fact I can go ahead and say demo, demo and let's have a look again. Demo, demo. Yep, that's where it was saved. Okay, that's an option. That's not my preferred option because I generally like to do it like so. I like to navigate to that specific folder where I actually want this um, slide document to be saved to. And from here, I can create a new template. Um, actually, from here, I have two separate methods. So I can click on new, then hover over slides, and then choose from a template. Mm, that's fair enough. I personally like just because I'm a little bit lazy, right clicking, hover, hovering over slides, and then from a template. Now I'm directly brought uh, to the template gallery and I click on my template. And now again, it's creating a copy of that template. And I know this sounds maybe, or this may look a little bit confusing because it always contains the word template. That's just because uh, what what Google Slides does, um, and as a matter of fact, all the other Google apps where you have templates available, it just simply takes the name of the template and gives it to the copy. But this is now um, my presentation. And if I go over to my Google Drive here, my presentation. It's that easy. 
while you're on YouTube, why don't you check out my other Google Workspace video tutorials? And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Drive, Gmail, how to automate, for instance, Google Sheets and Google Workspace in general. And I would not want you to miss out on any of those videos.